ओके सो लेट एस सी एस एन वन मैकेनिज्म ओके इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस एस एन टू मैकेनिज्म नाउ हियर इट इज एस एन वन मैकेनिज्म सो दिस इज रिएक्शन बिटवीन टर्शरी ब्यूटिल ब्रोमाइड एंड हाइड्रोक्साइड आयन ओके यू कैन सी हियर टर्शरी ब्यूटिल ब्रोमाइड सी दिस कार्बन इज टर्शरी ब्यूटिल दिस ग्रुप इज कॉल्ड एज टर्शरी ब्यूटिल ग्रुप एंड विच इज अटैच टू ब्रोमिन ओके सो दिस कंपाउंड इज टर्शरी ब्यूटिल ब्रोमाइड एंड रिएक्शन ऑफ दिस टर्शरी ब्यूटिल ब्रोमाइड टेक्स प्लेस विद हाइड्रोक्साइड आयन मीन्स ओ एच माइनस आयन एंड वॉट वट विल फॉर्म लेटस सी ओके नाउ दिस इज न्यूक्लियोफाइल दिस न्यूक्लियोफाइल विल अटैक ऑन दिस कार्बन आइटम ओके सो दिस बी आर माइनस आयन विल गेट सब्सिट्यूटेड बाय ओ एच माइनस आयन ओके सो सी एच थ्री सी सी एच थ्री सी एच थ्री दिस टर्शरी ब्यूटिल ग्रुप विल रिमेन एज इट इज बट इंस्टेड ऑफ बी आर वी विल राइट ओ एच एंड दिस बी आर माइनस आयन विल गेट एलिमिनेटेड ओके एंड नेम ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड इज टर्शरी ब्यूटिल अल्कोहोल ओके सो इट इज टर्शरी ब्यूटिल एल्कोहोल ओके and this reaction is sn1 reaction why it is sn1 reactions let us see that now see rate of this reaction is given by k rate constant multiplied by ch3 thrice cbr means what ch3 thrice means these three methyl group okay then c means this carbon atom and this br so it is tertiary butyl bromide ch3 thrice cbr is tertiary butyl bromide and here it is shown that rate of this reaction depends upon only tertiary butyl bromide okay and it does not depend upon the concentration of nucleophile understand that means the rate of reaction depends upon only one reactant okay only one substrate or only one react reactant and that's why the reaction is called as sn1 what does it mean so s for substitution n for nucleophilic and as the rate of reaction is depend upon only one reactant so it is unimolecular uni means one unimolecular reaction okay sn2 we have seen there we have studied that rate of reaction depends upon uh, that methyl bromide and uh nucleophile also okay so that uh, that reaction was bimolecular and here as the rate of reaction depends upon the concentration of methyl bromide sorry tertiary butyl bromide and that's why it is unimolecular reaction okay now mechanism of this reaction is two step mechanism sn2 mechanism was one step reaction and sn1 is two step reaction okay out of these two step first step is slow and reversible okay so slow step is always uh, rate determining step and subsequent step is fast step so let us see the mechanism so see step number 1 first step okay so see what happen in first step in first step you can see tertiary butyl bromide i have written it can be written in this way also ch3 thrice cbr same structure is there okay now in first step heterolysis takes place okay in first step heterolysis takes place means bond breaking takes place okay so here this bond between carbon and bromide ion breaks okay and this bromine ion Uh, eliminates elimination of bromine takes place okay and this step is slow step and reversible step okay and slow step always determines the rate of reaction and that's why rate of reaction depends upon the concentration of uh, tertiary butyl bromide only okay so see here what happen this bromine will leave it will take its electron pair and it will leave this carbon so this is your carbon okay and these three <coughs> methyl groups okay and now this is 
कोवैलेंट बॉन्ड कोवैलेंट बॉन्ड्स आर फॉर्म विद शेयरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो वन इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑफ कार्बन एंड वन इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑफ ब्रोमिन दे शेयरिंग टेकन प्लेस ओवर हियर ओके एंड दिस बॉन्ड इज फॉर्म वेन दिस ब्रोमिन लिव्स इट टेक्स इट्स इलेक्ट्रॉन अलॉन्ग विथ इट ओके सो नाउ द पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन विच इज प्रेजेंट ओवर हियर ब्रोमिन टेक्स अलॉन्ग विथ इट सो ब्रोमिन कैरीज निगेटिव चार्ज ओके नाउ कार्बन हैज नो इलेक्ट्रॉन विथ इट सो इट कैरीज पॉजिटिव चार्ज आई अंडरस्टैंड एंड दैट्स वाई दिस कार्बन इज कॉल्ड एज कार्बोकटायन वॉट इट इज कॉल्ड एज कार्बोकटायन इंटरमीडिएट इज फॉर्म्ड ओवर हियर वाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज कार्बोकटायन एंड वॉट इज मीन बाय कार्बोकटायन यू हैव स्टडीड इन स्टैंडर्ड इलेवन कार्बन विथ थ्री बॉन्ड्स एंड वन पॉजिटिव चार्ज इज कॉल्ड एज कार्बोकटायन ओके सो हियर यू कैन सी दिस कार्बन इज हैविंग थ्री बॉन्ड्स ओके एंड वन पॉजिटिव चार्ज सो इट इज कार्बोकटायन एंड दिस स्ट्रक्चर इज प्लेनर स्ट्रक्चर ओके द स्ट्रक्चर इज प्लेनर स्ट्रक्चर सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप ऑफ एस एन वन मैकेनिज्म वॉट हैपन्स हियर हेटेरोलिस टेक्स प्लेस बॉन्ड ब्रेकिंग द बॉन्ड बिटवीन कार्बन एंड ब्रोमिन ब्रेक्स ब्रोमिन टेक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर अलॉन्ग विथ इट एंड इट लिव्स दिस सर्जरी ब्यूटी ब्रोमाइड स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो कार्बन कैरीज पॉजिटिव चार्ज नाउ कार्बन हियर हैविंग थ्री बॉन्ड्स एंड वन पॉजिटिव चार्ज दिस इज बॉन्ड दिस इज ऑल्सो बॉन्ड सो कार्बन कैरिंग थ्री बॉन्ड्स एंड वन पॉजिटिव चार्ज इज कॉल्ड एज कार्बोकटाइन इंटरमीडिएट सो इन फर्स्ट स्टेप कार्बोकटाइन इंटरमीडिएट इज फॉर्म नाउ लेट अस सी स्टेप टू ओके सो स्टेप टू सो दिस कार्बोकटाइन विच इज फॉर्म इन फर्स्ट स्टेप सी एच थ्री एंड हियर ऑल्सो सी एच so see what happen over here now this nucleophile that is hydroxide ion okay will attack on this carbocation why it will attack carbon carries positive charge means carbon is electrophilic and this is nucleophilic there is attraction between positive and negative okay so this nucleophile attack on electrophilic carbocation okay so what will happen see CH3 thrice C and this OH will come okay so here alcohol is formed in second step so in first step bond breaking takes place and in second step new bond is formed okay so this is two step reaction and the rate of reaction depends upon only tertiary butyl bromide and that's why it is called as substitution nucleophilic uni uh, uni molecular reaction that is sn1 reaction first step is slow second step is fast so rate of reaction depends upon first step only i understand now let us see there are some features of sn1 mechanism as we have seen features salient features of sn2 mechanism here we are going to see salient features of sn1 mechanism so see salient features of sn1 mechanism see the first feature or characteristic two step mechanism okay sn1 reaction mechanism is two step mechanism first step bond breaking slow step and second step fast step and bond formation takes place okay so this is two, uh, two step mechanism now next uh, character c second planar carbocation intermediate okay so in this reaction in first step heterolysis takes place where the bond between carbon and halogen breaks and formation of carbocation takes place and this carbocation is planar which is called as planar carbocation intermediate okay now next third is c attack of nucleophile on carbocation intermediate in fast step okay in second step we have seen the attack of nucleophile takes place okay so second step is fast step okay so in fast step or second step nucleophile attack on carbocation and which give us final product okay then next is okay 
नंबर फोर एस एन वन रिएक्शन मेनली लीड्स विथ रेसिमाइजेशन नाउ रेसिमाइजेशन वी हैव स्टडीड इन ऑप्टिकल आइसोमेरिज्म वट इज मीन बाय रेसिमाइजेशन बोथ द मिक्सचर ऑफ डेक्सोरोटेटरी एंड लिवर रोटेटरी सब्सटेंसेस इज कॉल्ड एज रेसेमिक मिक्सचर एंड दैट प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड एज रेसिमाइजेशन ओके सो लेट अस सी See how this racemization takes place. Now we have studied that uh, chiral carbon. We have studied chiral carbon is optically active, right? Chiral carbon means which carbon atom to that carbon atom? The groups which are attached are different. All groups which are attached to the central carbon atom are different. Then that carbon atom is called as chiral carbon atom. Now when this uh, SN one reaction. takes place uh, with chiral carbon atom okay what happens see this is our carbocation it is not chiral carbon but just imagine that this is chiral carbon atom suppose this uh, uh, molecule is chiral carbon atom okay so all three groups are different and this is planar carbocation okay now here when nucleophile attacks that incoming nucleophile can attack from both the sides from here also it can attack and from here also it can attack in sn2 mechanism we have seen that there is possibility of back side attack only okay some reasons were there like steric uh, uh, steric factor was there then electrostatic repulsion was also there and because of steric factor and electrostatic repulsion uh, the attack of nucleophile in sn2 mechanism takes from back side only but here in sn1 mechanism this carbocation is planar okay and on this carbocation when nucleophile attack there is a possibility of attack from both the sides from back side as well as front side okay so when this uh, chiral carbon atom and when this nucleophile attack suppose first back side attack takes place so in this way product will form CH three, CH three, CH three, and from here our nucleophile will come and you, okay, and then in second case front side attack will take place. So in that case, CH three, CH three, and CH three, okay, and from here nucleophile will attack. Okay, now if you will observe these two structures, okay. they are enantiomers of each other they are non superimposable mirror images of each other see see both the structures i have drawn over here okay now you can see these two structures are mirror images of each other okay if you will lift this structure and you will try to match this structure with this structure only carbon and carbon will match okay remaining groups will not match so it is not uh, superimposable mirror image they are non superimposable mirror images of each other and when this carbon is chiral carbon atom in that case what we can say they are enantiomers of each other understand so when sn1 reaction is carried out at chiral carbon in an optically active substrate the product form is nearly racemic uh, racemic mixture okay that means both the enantiomers form in equal amount okay mixture of enantiomers forms and that's why it is said that sn1 reaction leads to the racemization okay racemization takes place understand so this was the uh, fourth feature okay sn1 reaction mainly leads with racemization understand so these are the uh, four characteristic of sn1 mechanism it is two step mechanism planar carbocation is uh, intermediate is form then attack of nucleophile takes place in first step which is second step and sn1 reaction mainly leads with racemization when it leads uh, with racemization when chiral carbon is present okay so uh, here we have completed sn1 reaction mechanism now let us see difference between sn1 and sn2 reactions so see the difference between sn2 and sn1 mechanism in your exercise question is there distinguish between sn2 and sn1 reaction mechanism so let us see 
this is SN2 and this is SN1 and these are the factors on the basis of which we are going to distinguish between these two. Okay, so first kinetics means whether it is first order or second order. So we have studied SN2 reaction is second order reaction. Why it is second order reaction? Rate of reaction depends upon both the species. And SN1 just now we have studied it is first order uh, reaction. Okay, it follows first order kinetics. Then molecularity. SN2 is bimolecular reaction. Okay. And SN1 is unimolecular reaction. Why bimolecular reaction? Because rate of reaction depends upon the concentration of both the species. And here rate of reaction depends upon the concentration of only one species. Then number of steps. Last video we have seen SN2 mechanism only one step is there. And SN2 just now we have seen two step. First step is slow step and next step is fast step. Now what about bond making and bond breaking? In last video SN2 we have studied bond breaking and bond making takes place simultaneously. We have studied transition state. In that we have seen partial bond breaking and partial bond formation. So in SN2 mechanism bond making and bond breaking simultaneously takes place at the same time. But what happened in SN2? In first step bond between carbon and halogen breaks and in second step new bond is formed okay then direction of attack front side attack or back side attack sn2 only back side attack is possible but in sn1 back side attack and front side attack both are possible because that carbocation intermediate is planar structure okay then stereochemistry inversion in configuration takes place Okay, and in SN1 what happened? Racemization takes place. Uh, if the carbon present in that is chiral carbon, means that substrate is optically active. In that case, racemization is possible. And in SN2, if substrate is optically active, inversion in configuration. Configuration changes completely. We have studied that. Okay, then next type of substrate. SN2 mechanism mainly takes place with uh, primary uh, substrate. Okay, means primary alkyl halides. It is favorable. And SN1 reaction, it is favorable in case of tertiary alkyl halides. Understand? Then polarity of solvent. In SN2 mechanism, non-polar solvents are favorable. And here polar solvents are favorable. Then nucleophile. What kind of nucleophile is there? In SN2, strong nucleophile. In SN1, weak nucleophile. Then, what about intermediate? In SN2 mechanism, it is single step reaction. So, no intermediate is formed. But in SN1, two step mechanism. So, intermediate is involved. Understand? So, these are the points which shows the difference between SN2 and SN1 mechanism. And all these points we have discussed when we, uh, when we were studying the mechanism of SN1 reaction and SN2 reaction. Okay. So here we have completed nucleophilic substitution reactions of alkyl halides. Okay. So let us stop here.